off to Cebu. And this time, I'm flying out of Clark as tickets are way cheaper when flying out of this airport compared to Manila. And yes, this is my favorite spot at the back of the cabin since I have all three seats to me as the flight ain't full. It's the usual routine. Passengers board, crew members prepare and do their safety demo, and right after that, our plane taxis to the runway and we're off in the air in no time. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be seated way at the back. What happened was before takeoff, I was offered to be moved to an exit row seat at the overwing area, care of the flight attendants. I guess the crew needed an able person to man one of the exit rows, but somehow I believe this is also an act of goodwill by the crew after conversing with them earlier. True or not, I feel at home in this airline as through this action, I've also felt the genuine treatment of buong pusong alaga. Not too long once we got airborne, seatbelt signs off. As usual, I needed to check the contents of my seat pocket where I'd find a newly designed air sickness bag, a safety card, and a copy of Mabuhay Magazine December 2018 issue. One thing I noticed is that every December, copies of the Mabuhay Magazine is thicker than usual, which means more interesting ads and more readable content. Other than that, more sections of write-ups and colorful photos have been added, giving this magazine lots of improvement over time. Still, I'm scanning through the last few pages of the Mabuhay magazine as I wanted to see the network of routes and where I can possibly travel flying out from any of their hubs. And you know the routine. In-flight snacks are served shortly after takeoff, the usual water, Coffee or tea is served along with pastries to fill your tummy. Now this is also a time to talk to crew members and ask them for a few insights, which they agreed once they finished serving everyone on board. First question. Uh, were you into another line of work before getting to work as a cabin crew? No, this Let's is my first. First time like that. Yes. You applied, you walked in. Or walk in, yes sir. Was it fun? Was Was it fun? Yeah, because we tried different airlines. It's like this is So they'll be, uh, no, we have to do this quick. Have you been getting bloopers during work? 
thank you very much. Actually, this is your video souvenir. You get to see this on YouTube. So, yun. Along with this lesser rocket, along with the other plots. This is your souvenir. This is our, our way of saying thank you. For, you guys are doing a good job. And thank you for joining my vlogs. That's my girls and guys. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. After that, we were already descending into Mactan Island with the brightly lit city of Cebu in view outside my window. It's Christmas season and it's just fascinating to see all the lights below. Meanwhile, cabin lights are dimmed in preparation for our landing. It didn't take long for our aircraft to find its way to the ramp, and once parked, passengers began to stand up one by one to disembark. I had to find my way out quick as travel buddy Joshua will be picking me up. Bye bye. Wait, pasabi nila ang ano thank you sa kanila. Hindi ko na kayo sa pa sa interview. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, we're here in Cebu. Yeah. I don't know, but Mactan Cebu Airport has always fascinated me, knowing that this place is a major jump-off point to different islands in the Philippines. I simply love this airport. Meanwhile, Joshua and his parents are picking me up where we will be interviewing pilots after our dinner together. Okay, right now we're with Josh here at Waterfront <laughs> Hotel and uh, we're on our way to interview some pilots. Seru. Yeah. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. Sasu Sasu Travel. Bye.